YouTube. I'm the Boot Hill Kid, and uh, I don't know if this thing's working for my audio or not, but uh, <clears throat> I'm up here at my old man's warehouse today. Uh, we built this shed not too long ago for the sole purpose of storing Jeep parts. As you can see, we've got a few in here already. But what I'm working on today is building shelving to put my Jeep parts. So these are all the old man's, some, not all, these are some of the old man's parts. But these are exclusively his parts. I don't have anything in here yet. So, today I am, hey Ice, hey Bo, brought my dogs up here because it's fenced in. I can just let them run around. <coughs> this is the black Jeep, the 97 Country. As you can see, it's been stripped out and everything's sitting inside of it. And so today I am uh, going to empty it out, build some shelving for everything, get it all put in here, or attempt to, because this thing is about to go to the shop and get cut up. We are cutting it right about here. Gonna put a fold this down, put a piece of metal here, box it off, and this is gonna become a trailer. Um, you see ice wants to crawl around under it. Bo couldn't care less. In the back here, um, I don't know if you're familiar with Cherokees or not, but it's got this cargo area in the back. From that pillar to this pillar is going to be a cage. And all the way back here, when you open this hatch up, there's going to be doors. So I'm going to have two separate kennels for my dogs in here. And uh, this is, we're talking about going in a few years to Oklahoma, out to the desert, and uh, spending about a week out there, I think. And so I'm going to pull this behind my Jeep. This back section here is going to be kennel for both my dogs. And you can see they're running around, checking everything out. And then this front, the well, what is going to be the front part of the Jeep, this part here is going to be storage for tent, cooler, everything else so I don't have to keep it in my Jeep and hopefully by then I'll have a roof rack I'm having gonna have them weld me up a roof rack make me a roof rack for the top of this thing and uh, hopefully have a rooftop tent up there um, if not we can put the tent back here we'll keep dog food water all that kinds of stuff in here and uh, from here up it's gonna be a tongue to hook it to the back of the Jeep so this was the two-wheel drive front axle that's on here. No pumpkin on it, just a solid front axle. And that's going to go to the back. Hey, Bo. That's going to go on the back. And then that rear will be a, just a spare rear axle for my Jeep. And uh, we're going to do the leaf springs on it. And uh, I'm going to attempt to make it uh, put a four and a half inch lift on this so it'll sit the same height as the other Jeep. And it'll have the same tires on it. <clears throat> So with the front of it, with it being just flat, I'm going to have a spare tire on the front. So I'll have a spare tire on the Jeep. I have a spare tire on here. I'll have two spares. I would like to have four spares on this thing is my goal. <clears throat> but anyway, that's the, that's the plan for this right now. Get it emptied out, build some shelving, and uh, start moving some stuff into the shed and get this cut up. So I'll be back. This afternoon is a uh, multiple recording afternoon, I guess. Uh, here is what's going on with the XJ trailer. It is officially been cut, as you can see. I really hope me and the old man can lift this up by ourselves. Oh yeah, we'll be able to get that, no problem. So this is going to be uh, used, believe it or not, what's left of it is going to be used for parts for the Comanche build. Um, I will link that uh, overview in the description and at the end. Um, as you can see right here, we've got a seam that connects this front half of the Cherokee to the back half of the Cherokee. So I've got to drill out these spot welds, um, get this portion off. I've got to unbolt the uh, motor mounts those will actually bolt right into the Comanche cut that off the Comanche 
and put this onto the Comanche. Everything should line up from what I understand, from what I've looked at and what I've measured. I've got to replace this because it's it's broken, but that's not a huge deal. <clears throat> that uh, I'm going to leave it on there until I get it put on the Comanche, and then we'll cut that off and do the same thing with it. But uh, that's going on the Comanche. That's going to allow me to put the inline six in here uh, with the correct radiator support. <clears throat> and believe it or not, I'm still going to use stuff in here. So my dash supports that are in here, all of those are going to uh, be cut out, drilled out rather, because they're riveted in and put into the Comanche. My uh, gas pedal, all that stuff, I got to get this foam out and it's going to go in the Comanche. What's left of this floor is going to be used to patch the Comanche. Um, I really thought my... Uh, I thought my fuse panel was still in here, but it doesn't look like it. it looks like it's gone. So uh, I'll have to find that. That's somewhere. Uh, and then I may be drilling out this part here to put into the Comanche. The Comanche was a uh, five-speed, and I don't know if that is the correct size and has the correct bolt holes for the um, the transmission I'm putting in there. But uh, so yeah, this still has very usable parts. Again, these. Um, studs for the dash are going to go in there this piece for the dash is going to go in there the uh you know all everything for the dash basically all this is going to go in there all that good stuff and let's uh go in here and take a look I'm going to pause this and come back once I get the lights on. If I can get my key out of the door. And we're back. I didn't even have to edit, just pause. Here is the soon-to-be XJ trailer. You can kind of see the angle right there that we're going with. Uh, that piece of flat bar is going to be the angle of the front. So it's not going to cut wind the best, but it's gonna cut wind better than uh, just a flat front, hopefully. Um, but that, I don't know if y'all can see that or not, that bar right there is going to be the angle that the sheet metal is going to be placed at. Uh, most likely that'll be welded right there and end up being the uh, a, a support, I'm assuming is why it's here. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this tunnel yet thinking about hammering it down flat maybe um, or at least part of it I may come right here and uh, cut it and then cut down the center and hammer it down haven't decided yet um, that's something I'm gonna have to decide but, but yeah basically um, all that's gonna be real estate uh, what I'm gonna do with this trailer this is going to be a uh, modular trailer if you will the back doors are going back on it. I've got older doors off of a uh, 91 Cherokee that have crank windows. Those are going on here. Um, for one, I want to keep the newer style doors for if I need them for a different project. And for two, I want to be able to roll the windows down without having to have power to it. And I've got two crank doors off of a 92, so I'm gonna put them on here. On the inside of here, none of this is coming out. All this is staying the same. I may go ahead and leave the tunnel because what I'm going to do is make a frame out of wood. I'm going to make all this out of wood, but it's going to come across and make this one flat surface. All right. Actually, probably a little bit higher. Uh, what I will probably do is I'll have a drawer right here to pull out and on the other side as well that pulls out to keep stuff in. Um, right here, I will have a lift up. Uh, door that'll lift up and I'll be able to get in here from here back it's going to have a shelf system probably a six inch deep it'll be about right there if I can do this without screwing the video up probably be about that deep about six inches or so what I say six feet it'll be six inch deep um, drawer system and then on top of that I'm going to build um, a kennel, a divided kennel to keep both my dogs in when we go somewhere. 
Um, it'll have expanded metal on this side, have doors and expanded metal on that side, and have expanded metal on either side there. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna make that out of wood yet or out of steel. I'm thinking probably wood might be a little lighter. Uh, it may not be depending on what kind of wood I get, but <clears throat> basically I'm gonna be able to take the kennel out and uh, use this for a sleeper. So um, this is about the right length. With, with the way this tapers down, you know, my feet would go on this end. Mine and my wife's feet would go on that end. And our heads would go on that end. Um, and then we can use the back doors to get in and out, no problem, uh, which is great. Uh, we can climb in here and go back that way and sleep, what have you. And then um, I'm gonna actually fix this inside of here um, I'm gonna put the panel back on but I'm gonna fix that to where I have a manual lock inside of here to where I can lock it and unlock it and then of course the two doors I'll be able to lock so basically if we could get in here we could lock it up and we'll be you know don't have to worry about somebody coming in on us at night uh, I will have expanded metal over the side glasses welded welded in uh, I want light to be able to get in still but I don't want my dogs to bust them out depending on how I decide to do this kennel thing. Uh, and then the back glass, that's actually, this this hatch is kind of a jacked up hatch. It's got a big dent in it and uh, the glass has been, had a bunch of caulk put in there. I can, you know, you can stick, I can stick my fingers up under the glass. Had a bunch of caulk in there to keep it from leaking. Basically, I'm going to take the back glass out uh, and I'm going to put in a piece of sheet metal inside there probably 20 gauge, 18 gauge, something like that sheet metal and make uh, supports inside there. And uh, I don't I don't need to be able to see out of this because you won't be able to see through that side. So it's kind of a moot point. So I'll take this glass out, put a piece of sheet metal over this, no problem. Expanded metal inside of here, no problem. I will probably put expanded metal inside the door windows as well. Um, basically, I don't want somebody to be able to knock out a window and get stuff out of here, so I'm going to make it where they can't bust out a window and get stuff out of here. <coughs> um, up front here on the tongue, the tongue is going to come out right about where that tire is, actually. Um, the tongue is going to come out to about right here, if you can see. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll have a, uh, a trailer tongue box on there. All that good stuff, be able to uh, keep stuff in that. I may make another box, I may may make the, the box and I may keep uh, deep cycle batteries in there or what have you. I've got to figure out if I will be able to put my spare tires up there. I want two spare tires on my trailer, full size spares. So the trailer will get 31 1050s, which is what I'm running on my Jeep. And uh, I'll have two full size spares on the front of here either staggered this way or this way or maybe diagonally i don't know yet um, but i will also have a high lift jack mounted up here all that good stuff uh on the roof rack i've been trying to figure out something with the roof rack i can't put a full roof rack on it like uh like on my jeep so what i'm thinking about is uh making a load bearing roof rack mounted directly to the top bolts going through these bolt holes here i'm thinking about uh actually having them weld in a stud or uh, into that or uh a stud coming through there from the inside and then running a piece of this flat bar down the length of it and then going up through the roof with a stud that's welded to that flat bar and the flat bar being welded in here and then i can uh seal up the holes and then I can just bolt directly to it. I can take it off still, but I can bolt directly down to it and then have a couple cross members going across there and that should be fairly uh, fairly good at load bearing. There will be a um, one, one inch tubing going across here to support the front, to support all this. This will have a one inch tubing frame going down to here, across, it'll be nice and sturdy. Uh, with the roof rack, I'm going to again, you know, have it fixed up here to where it's load bearing and I'm actually going to have a ladder come down on this side. This thing's going to be four and a half inches uh, of ride height. I'm going to make it the same height as my Jeep so that I won't have any issue, clearance issues. 
um, and I'm going to put a rack uh, a ladder on this side here so I can get up on top of the roof rack if need be. Uh, may put the ladder on the back of here since I'm getting rid of that glass. I haven't decided yet. Um, we'll just have to see. Another thought I had was fabbing up a uh, a rear tire carrier uh, onto the back of this, onto this hatch. Then I would have three spare tires on my Jeep, on my trailer. The tail lights will go back in. They will be hooked up to for trailer lights. I'm going to use, have them make me a, uh, I'm gonna have the, the, the shop here make me a bumper for the back of here to mount two of my um, trailer jacks to, and they will fold up um, kind of like they'll, they'll be down and they'll fold up like this. And then I can level this thing out front to back with the two on the back and the one that's gonna be on the front. That way when I'm in it, when I'm climbing on it, whatever, it's not, it's not moving around. I'll be able to stabilize it. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I am putting the gas tank back under this and I'm going to use a DC pump, um, 12 volt DC pump, uh, like they use on farm trailers, on the fuel trailers on farms. And I'm going to run my lines up through the tunnel that I'm, that I'm leaving here. Probably not gonna hammer it. If I do hammer it down, it won't be flat down, but I'm gonna run my lines through the tunnel into up to the tongue and I will have inside here my hose and my all that and I should be able I'm going to make it to where I can drag my hose out to my Jeep which will be up here and fuel up my Jeep from the tank in the back of here that'll effectively give me 22 25 gallons of fuel that I'll be able to carry with me um the other thing is I may try to figure out how to put a solar panel on this Jeep um 100 watt solar panel is what I've looked at that's going to be way, way, way in the future. That's not something I'm gonna do anytime soon. Right now, the main thing is we're gonna get the tongue on here, we're gonna get this boxed in and um, get all my weather stripping back on, get it sealed up to where it's not gonna leak, and then I'm going to start working on, um, this summer I'll work on the framing for the interior. <clears throat> Again, I'm gonna have the, uh, the storage shelves in there. The storage shelves themselves will be semi-permanent. Um, they will have to be disassembled, or not the storage, the uh, drawer system in the back of the cargo area will be semi-permanent. Um, they will have to be disassembled to be taken out, but the dog kennel will be what is uh, modular, what can come in and out. Because if I'm not taking my dogs camping, I don't need a kennel in there for them. And the other deal is my wife and I have talked about going to Oklahoma in a few years out to the desert, out to the dunes and we want to be able to take our dogs with us so i want to be able to take the kennel out of here put it outside of here and us be able to sleep inside here of course it'll get a um, rooftop tent at some point i'm going to make that i have not found any for sale that i particularly like um, so it'll get a rooftop tent on top of being a sleeper and then um oh yeah the other thing is i'm going to make the roof rack to where I will be able to fold out two arms and be able to hang my hammock on this side or either side, probably on both sides actually because me and my wife both like to ha lay in the hammock. But um, I'm gonna have fold out arms to hang my, suspend my hammock and then I'm going to take a PVC pipe put on both sides and make a waxed um, canvas tarp to pull out over to give you some uh, some shade from the sun or rain or what have you. Um, so basically, you, I, well, I'll be able to camp out of this thing. With the rollout canvas tarp, I can have these doors open and, and still be out of the rain and out of the weather. Um, I, with the hammock suspension, I can even sleep outside of this or I can sleep inside of this when it's set up for a sleeper. Um, kind of like a teardrop trailer type setup. Uh, this is going to have power. Uh, again, I'm going to use deep cycle batteries outside. They're not going to be inside of here. They're going to be outside of here. I will probably end up using four deep cycle batteries set up to where I, I keep them at 12 volts, but my amps go higher. Um, my amp hours, I mean. So uh, they'll be able to last longer. That's that's the idea ideology with having the um, solar panel on here. That way the sun will be charging my batteries every time the sun's out 
and my batteries will never die <clears throat> is the idea behind that so i will have um some sort of a fan system in here a 12 volt fan system uh to kind of keep you cool in the summertime uh this isn't going to be insulated like your typical teardrop i may try to insulate it uh I hadn't thought about that until actually I just started doing this video. I could actually probably go through and spray foam all inside of these and uh, insulate it somewhat. Um, I haven't thought about that, so I may look into doing that a little bit more. But basically, this trailer is going to be all around for anything I want to do outdoors. The added bonus of this is if I've got my kennels in here, I can use it for trapping, for live trapping coyotes. I'll have a kennel to put them in and uh, just pretty much anything we want to go and do we can go and do uh, my wife's family when they go to Oklahoma they take four-wheelers and stuff and I'll be taking this trailer <clears throat> this should have power all the time so I will be able to get a wireless uh, dog fence set up and and put it inside of here and it'll give like a 50 foot radius around this trailer for my dogs um, and they'll have on a shock collar and when they get close it'll beep them and if they try to go out of that range it'll shock them a little bit and they'll come back but when you're out in the desert you don't want them to run off so i think that's the most humane thing to do and then i don't have to worry about them running off so that's some more stuff i'm looking at, <coughs> at looking at doing to set this thing up i haven't quite figured out my onboard water yet uh i'm going to try to have I'd like to have 40 gallons of water, at a minimum 30. I'd like to have 40, um, but I gotta figure out how I'm going to do my water in here. That's something I've not quite gotten to yet. So we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I may, since I'm going to have a platform over this, I may try to make some sort of a water containment system in th on this side and on that side to keep my water right here and my filler would be on the outside of the Jeep right here for both sides, but <clears throat> we'll cross that when we get there. I'll look more into that as after we get it boxed in. But yeah, let me know what y'all think. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this whole project. Um, since I got the other Jeep and decided to use it for my everyday driver, this, this one doesn't have a title, so this has been on my to-do list. This is something I've been very excited to get done, and so now we're getting it done there's another video uh on youtube right now of a guy who did a jeep cherokee trailer which originally gave me the idea because i hadn't thought about it and i will actually link his video in the description um, but he actually took the front doors and folded them in and welded them up and made like a uh, wedge front to his uh, and it looks great but he left the rear seats in his put a tv in his and stuff like that which which is cool. Uh, I thought about doing that, but it didn't serve my needs. Um, this thing here is going to serve all of my needs just fine. Uh, and then some. So there's the front axle. That's a two wheel drive front axle I took out of my Jeep. And eventually this axle will go under this trailer. Right now I'm going to leave the, uh, the Dana 35 under the rear. Uh, but this is a solid front axle and my only issue right now is the steering knuckles if i can figure out a way to get those steering knuckles off and just actually make this a solid tube front axle with no steering components i'm going to do that if not i'm just going to have uh, a bar welded across here to keep it straight and keep it from moving just either way is not a big deal um, but i want to use this axle for sure because I can keep that axle as a spare for my Cherokee. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the progress on it. So I will do uh, video updates and, uh, on YouTube as this thing moves along, and I'll do uh, picture updates on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, uh, head over there and uh, look up the Boot Hill Kid, and uh, follow me on there for. Uh, updates as things progress and then i will do videos as we get hit certain milestones on this project as always i'm the boot hill kid thank you for watching